بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم بیک ویورس دس از دی ویڈیو اور ویڈیو سیکشن آف دا سیریز وی آر کورنگ انڈر دا ٹائٹل آف ورچولائزیشن اینڈ ایز یو نو وی آر اسٹل کورنگ زین ان دس ویڈیو آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو کور دا لاسٹ فیو ٹاپکس وچ آر لیفٹ ان آر دس ٹو ڈو لسٹ آئی ریمبر وی انسٹالڈ ونڈوز para virtual drivers so we were going to discuss what good naming schemes are and uh, what does this domain zero memory means and how can we install uh, or how can we use a pre-made Zen image such as open filer uh, Zen image and how can we use it uh, etc the first uh, section of this video is going to cover just just the naming scheme which I have devised or I prefer to use uh, it's very simple uh, it's it's based on placeholder uh, system that is uh, and uh, the word HVM KV PVM or even KVM and then the name of your distribution or OS and then the version and then the operating uh, uh, processor architecture and then the FQDN why would you need naming scheme why would you name uh, need uh, uh, a naming mechanism you see there's this is this machine here VM1 uh, it doesn't specify what operating system it is what is the underlying of what processor technology it is using uh, and whether it is uh, a real VM for uh, some real server doing some real work or is it just a test machine so this does not spe the name this small name does not specify does not mention anything about these facts so that is why these naming schemes are important and that is uh, what I'm going to suggest you here now we can encounter possibly three types of mainly two types but I've further broken it down to three types of virtual machines either it can be a para virtual machine or a hardware virtual machine hardware assisted virtual machine these are the main two now KVM is hardware assisted virtual machine but since KVM is a separate uh, altogether a separate technology you which uses HVM so what I've done is in order to have uh, clear clear names uh, I've included KVM as a you know separate technology name here then most of the time I would be using send OS or Red Hat Enterprise Linux or Fedora or Debian even so in some cases Ubuntu then Windows and then separated by uh, uh, not separated by a dash it's, it's just here to clarify things uh, then the version that like sent OS 5.4 uh, Fedora 12 Windows XP Windows 2000 Windows 2008 or simply K8 because I'm using only two digit placeholder for Windows versions uh, 2003 would be written as K3 or Windows 7 etc and whether it's running on 32-bit processor or 64-bit processor etc so when this would be helpful when you move a virtual machine from one physical host to another so you would know that whether you can move it or not you would definitely first check if your target physical host has uh, this capability or not so this would be helpful in the long run then separate it by a dash and then you use fully qualified domain name of the host where of not of the host the role in which this VM is going to be used for example I've written here like HVM CentOS 5.4 this is the version number of CentOS 64 bit server 2.example.com is where this VM uh, uh, is what this VM is it's, it's not that where this VM is running it's what this VM is it's 
this is serve uh, when you click when you type in the URL server two dot example dot com for example then this is the VM which is running at the back so I further cut it down short first thing you should notice is that I'm not using dots here okay because uh, some documents suggest that using dots in the virtual machine name creates problems so to stay away from those problems preemptively I'm not using dots here HVM, PVM or KVM is summarized as just P or K or H. Okay. Now whenever there would be P or an H, I would automatically know that this is a Zen uh, based VM because only Zen differentiate between PVM and HVM. KVM only provides one type of virtual machines which are hardware assisted virtual machines. Then is C for sent OS. D for Debian, W for Windows, of course. Then uh, you can uh, you specify this CentOS 5.4 is the version number without mentioning the dot here, no need. And 64-bit OS means this is the 64-bit distribution you are using here. Same goes uh, Debian 3.0, 64-bit Windows XP is the version number 32 bit then I use this dash as a separator the first dash when I encounter I know that from here onwards it's going to be the host name of this VM so that is exactly what I've shown here server3.example.com desktop.home.com although uh, instead of dot you see dashes here and that is what I recommend you use dash here okay this is my suggested scheme you can uh, increase the placeholders like if you want to let's say hardware assisted Zen hardware assisted Windows 2003 now I would write it as K3 but you can either use 2 2K3 it automatically means 2003 32-bit or you can keep this W uh, Windows 2003 32-bit that has increased uh, the the name or the placeholder for by one digit so you can either use zeros here or whatever to keep it consistent why I'm so stressing so much on consistency because you can use the uh, you can you know you can write scripts to uh, to do certain operations uh, like listing of your virtual machine all right so this is the naming scheme which I would be using uh, in next videos so this topic is closed then what is this domain zero memory all right let's save this first of all let me tell you that I have changed my setup a bit I created last uh, a video before this video uh, that covered uh, Zen domain uh, using OpenFiler as then Zen domain U. Uh, that video is still under editing phase, and after that was done, means the one the video was made, I uh, formatted my storage machine and recreated the whole setup to prepare for the live migration videos so this screen which you are now seeing is basically named Zen host one so this is one of the physical hosts which would be hosting certain uh, VMs and then we have another uh, virtual machine uh, not virtual machine we have another physical host here this is Zen host two as you can see so this, this is my second physical machine and I have uh, a third virtual machine as storage which uh, which is not shown here its, it's window is not here what I can do is I can go to Zen host one and I can open up a web browser and I can show you that 
https colon slash slash one nine two one six eight dot one dot one hundred colon four four six okay add exception get certificate okay okay this is my open filer it's named as storage you can you can use this word storage here or even storage dot example dot com they all the same machines all right coming back to our to-do list what we are going to do is I'm going to show you what does this domain zero memory means once you open this virtual manager you see here a lot of memory being consumed in the first uh, line or the domain zero line being used by domain zero when a VM is started or created this uh, this memory is ballooned down it gets deflated a bit okay so how can you this deflating of course is resource intensive at least it consumes some resources this is my Linux machine booting up virtual machine so the better approach is to assign certain amount of memory to domain zero at its boot up time and when it boots up again then that is the only memory it has it will never exceed that uh, memory uh, usage so the rest of the memory would always remain free for your virtual machines so this ballooning up and down this will not happen anymore where is it configured let me show you okay Zen host one you open etc grub dot conf you go to the kernel line not the modules line go to the kernel line where the Zen is being loaded you add you add this parameter to the kernel here and you specify that it will have access to only 500 MB of memory right save and exit that's point number one point number two is your etc zen zen d config dot sxp press enter here here you will see hmm a limit minimum limit that means when whenever memory is ballooned down for whatever reason it will not balloon down beyond certain level here domain zero minimum memory is 256 so this is the minimum level it's safe to have this even it is safe to specify this in the grub.conf means domain 0 will use just 256 MB of RAM out of whatever you have 4 GB 8 GB 16 GB doesn't matter all right so I'll not change this this is okay for me but to have this grub.conf change be effective I will need to reboot the system I will uh, edit this file in my second physical host and I will reboot that okay domain zero memory domain zero underscore mem is equal to 512 MB okay that's all save and exit Let's start virtual manager you see this machine is using 1.7 GB uh, domain zero is using 1.7 GB when a new VM is created in this in this machine this will balloon down what I'm going to do is uh, what I've already done here is edited its grub file mentioned only 512 MB of RAM out of 2, 2 GB and I'm going to reboot it so this is gone okay great 
so it will hopefully reboot in next one or two minutes and I'll show you the effect all right this topic installing PV drivers on Linux machines I'll cover in later videos because in modern Linux distributions like 5. Red Hat 5.2, 5.3 uh, para virtual drivers are already included in Linux distribution so whenever an HVM is created it is uh, it is already uh, having a, a, the para virtual drivers inside it then I'm going to cover iSCSI based SAN which is open filer which is exactly what I shown you here or I am going to show you here in detail and running pre-made Zen images let's say you download open filer domain U appliance uh, how would you use it the procedure I've already written here uh, it's already uh, the video for this is already made but it's going through some editing so I will publish this uh, soon and this will not be covered in this video current video okay so that concludes our to do list for now let's just see one last time if our machine which I rebooted has it come up it was second machine right still not come up let's try pinging it ping zen host 2 okay it's pinging so let's let's see if it VNC server comes up still not okay never mind I'll just SSH into it because SSH Zen host 2 red hat okay uh, it's uh, working let's see if my VNC process is available VNC password VNC server is running great so I should be able to access it why VNC server minus skill okay cat etcrc dot local I set that up here okay okay it's working now great fine so what would be the effect on virtual manager let's see see it's using only 512 MB of RAM and uh, rest of the memory is, ava is available for any virtual machine which I would be creating so this is the effect of uh, domain 0 let me show you uh, one last time this is the effect of what you have mentioned in your uh, grub.conf I'll just show you one line grub dom zero from etc grub here so this is what you mentioned here right this one okay that's all and uh, let's proceed to uh, let's proceed to open filer configuration storage configuration let me close this video here and I'll meet you in the next video